Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video. What I have here is one of those Arcade 1UP Pac-Man control boards. We're going to take this Arcade 1UP Pac-Man and we're going to convert it into a high So what I'm doing is nothing new. These conversions have been done by other people before. And, and if you've searched YouTube, maybe you might see uh, several videos on people that have done these conversions. Now, when they show you their stuff, they typically like to show you the pretty. Uh, if you watch my stuff, I like to show you the nitty gritty. Um, doing this conversion like this isn't a matter of can you do it? Of course you can do it. It's a matter of should you do it? And let's let's let me back up my camera here a little bit and get a little better view of this cabinet. This is the uh, full view without the riser in it. It's not very tall. Um, look at this. Here's my knee right here. It actually my knee is a little bit higher than what the where this control panel would go up to on this cabinet. So obviously you'd want a riser, and it's not very heavy. I can actually pick this up one hand here and I'm gonna set it into this riser uh, so we can get a closer look at this stuff first of all look at this look how thin this material is so you go to a Walmart target you know whatever retailer and you buy these arcade one-up machines um, first thing I want you to know is the material on it is very very weak um, if you're a serious arcade builder you probably wouldn't want to use an arcade one-up cabinet just because of the material alone. Um, I mean, this thing would just break so easy, and uh, I would think it would wear down pretty quick, too. Um, another thing is, uh, I don't know if I can get this on camera or not. Let me see if I can tilt this back, get a little better light here so you can see this. <sighs> see right here, there's kind of a, a little bit of a tear going on in my graphic on the side panel there that came with this um this was from the cabinetry company i took my stuff to the cabinetry company those guys have done a, a lot of the good stuff for me over the years but uh anyways he had a difficulty right here in this little graphic it kind of tore up a little bit it is just a cheap paper graphic um so when you look at these arcade one-ups and you see these really badass graphics on them, like, you know, here, the Pac-Man one, um, to me, I guess that's probably the only thing they have going is the cool looking graphic, but these are cheap graphics. <laughs> so it kind of loses a point there. So um, you will be seeing a conversion going on here, but I, I guess I, I just want to say before I get into this, um, you really uh, should consider having your own cabinet built. Uh, either do it yourself or, uh, you know, have a cabinetry company do it. Um, if you go visit the uh, forum.arcadecontrols.com website, which is where this video is mainly going to be posted to besides my YouTube page here and the builds.gg site, um, there is a lot of people there on the arcade uh, forums that are a lot better at this than I am. Um, I do not consider myself an expert at building arcades, even though I've built several of them, and I, I think they're pretty easy to me, but uh, I'm going to show you some pretty uh, pretty advanced stuff here today. Um, this isn't going to be a cheap build. Um, you, you can do this cheap if you do like a Raspberry Pi in here or something. Um, obviously, if you look at the title screen, it says Hyperspin. We're going to be doing Hyperspin. Hyperspin has got a lot more uh, hardware requirements for it that uh, we need to meet in order to get it to work the way it does but uh, i'm going to cut this scene here and i'm going to start building uh, 
and I'm as I go along, I'm going to talk about uh, what I'm replacing on, on this cabinet as I'm doing it. I think that's kind of the easiest path to go to. This is going to be a very very long video. Um, if you don't have time to watch it now, maybe you know bookmark this, come back to it later, because I am going to cover a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm going to cover more than just, well, gee, look at this, I built this, look how cool it looks. Um, I'm going to cover a lot of stuff that gets involved in making these arcade games. So uh, sit tight and let's get on to it. So from the arcade one-up uh, builder's manual, I'm at what would be step six. In step seven, this is where the monitor gets mounted in. Now, in my case, I'm not using the stock monitor that comes with it. That thing's a little 17-inch screen. It's pretty useless. What I'm using here is something that a lot of other guys are using. This is a Dell 2007 FPB monitor. It's a 20-inch monitor, runs a 1600 by 1200 resolution. Uh, fits great in these arcade one-ups. I also have a customized bezel for the front there that Tulsa Arcades did for me. Tulsa Arcades is uh, kind of one of the main companies that I used in this build today. Um, this little panel in the back that you see here that is holding the monitor in place is also from Tulsa Arcades. Uh, they sell all kinds of arcade one-up uh, accessories and parts that you can use if you also want to do some type of conversion to your arcade one-up cabinet. Uh, the monitor is uh, one of the best conversions I think you can do to them. Uh, even if you stick with the arcade uh, guts that are on the inside, you, you can make that work if you like, which is you know kind of a different rewiring thing. But uh, yeah, you can definitely put a bigger monitor in here, and uh, that's what we're going to do because, you know, I'm running MAME. Uh, a lot of these MAME games don't run just vertical. Some are horizontal. Uh, you just get a better experience all around with it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish bolting up the other side of this onto here, and I'm going to bolt this monitor in place so that it's steady, put this into its uh, riser, and uh, we'll continue here. So the monitor's in, and you can see that's looking really good. I got a little bit of glare going on there in reflection, so it's kind of hard to see it because it's not turned on. But this is what the replacement bezel looks like uh, that I had Tulsa Arcades do. Um, next step, uh, if you're in your manual, uh, is, of course, put on that back thing. I put that together, <clears throat> and the sides, of course, are on. And we have this sitting up into the riser. Now, the next step in the instructions will be to put this big panel in the front here. Now, you can see I put mine in, but you can see there's a little modification here that was made to it. Let me lift that up a little bit. You can see I put a hole right there above that. What that's going to be used for is my coin button. Now, arcade uh, Tulsa Arcades does sell replacement panels for this that you know you can have customized they sell panels that actually have cutouts in them for coin doors so if, if you're thinking like wow i want to put a coin door on my arcade you absolutely can do that absolutely um not only tulsa arcades there's other uh, manufacturers out there that will sell the doors they're relatively easy to put in um especially if you buy the replacement panels and it's already cut for you you don't have to do any cutting but Anyways, getting back to this, uh, this is where my uh, coin button's going to go. Now, you can see that it also has the one of the K panels here, this wooden K panel uh, that I'm going to need to drill through too. So I'm going to go ahead and get the drill out. Uh, I'm going to take this out, measure this, and uh, we'll get this hole drilled out. And uh, I can start putting the button there, and we'll come back to the uh, next scene, and we'll talk about the next thing that's going to go into this arcade cabinet. Okay, so the button is now installed. Works just fine. This is a 12-volt light on the inside here, so I'm going to have to do some wiring to that, but we'll get to the wiring after a bit. Uh, the next part that goes on is this right here. This panel here is called a J-panel. 
Uh, it connects right to the bottom of where the control panel is. Kind of goes in at an angle. Let me let me pull this up out of here and set this off to the side real quick. And you can see that this goes in at an angle. Uh, I'm actually going to take advantage of this J panel right here. Now, Tulsa Arcades does sell replacement J panels as well. They sell ones with buttons drilled in. They sell ones with speaker holes drilled in there and buttons. Just the speakers, just a plain one. Uh, you can do a customized one. Uh, it's up to you. But uh, this is what we're going to do next is the J panel here. Now, I have big plans for the J panel, uh, but it is just to show you this before i start on this this is really really thin and flimsy so you don't really want to weigh it down too much i guess uh with too much stuff in there but you absolutely can do something with the j panel and what i'm going to do with these uh well you'll see coming up here okay i turned on my spotlight because those last couple scenes were a little dark but anyways i have the new j panel in and as you can see this one looks a lot different than what it did when i just in that last scene you can see i've got two speakers here uh one player start two player start a volume control gotta have my volume control and right up here uh, if i can get this down show you this two usb ports um, that's going to be for accessing the send in light gun that I'm going to put in here and also for other maintenance if I need to do that. Now, here's the control panel that's going to go in here, and I'll get to the control panel here in a bit, but this will kind of give you an idea. Maybe if I can back up here a little bit of how this is all coming together. Um, you can see the marquee, there's the new bezel with the new 20 inch monitor in here here's the control panel and i've got basically six button with my joystick on the right side now the reason for that is because when my boy and i play we're both right-handed when we play we like to play with our right hand and fire with our left so i mean that might be a little weird looking for some of you but uh, that's how we like it and then up here we got the admin controls like i said i'll get into this control panel here uh probably next but for now let me uh, take this off here and show you this now there isn't too much for clearance here so i mean th that's one of the bad things about working with this cabinet is you got to really kind of uh get your measurements right now like right here you can see that i got a button going on um this is going to be for like pinball and things like that and i got one on the opposite side drilled in there uh in retrospect um i should have probably put that down just a little bit lower when i had him drill it uh it's fine on this side but it actually kind of bumps into the joystick here now i can fix that um i believe arcade paradise sells the type of buttons that will flush mount on here and they just kind of click into place which is probably what i'm going to have to go with i don't know if they have those in rgb because uh i'm using some rgb buttons on this um if they don't then you know i'll figure something out i'm kind of hoping if they don't have them in rgb that they at least have them in red but uh that little bit of a delay but then again I'm, i don't have 100 percent of everything that i need for this cabinet just yet i am still waiting on the send and light gun to get here and that had an arrival date of sometime in november uh but uh i'm gonna press forward here um and uh well let's get up oh, looks like i got uh, some screws left over on these uh, speakers that i just put in there i'm gonna have to pull those off but uh, uh i'm gonna cut this scene here and uh we'll get back to uh something else 